Hey YouTube, it's Laura here with Little Lights by Laura, and I'm picking right up where I left off on the Newbies Part 1. Um, this will be Newbies Part 2 of the new software update. So, um, we were on the offset tool, which is super important when you have thin fonts. So, um, how this works is basically here, I have this text here, and if I were to cut this out with vinyl, it would be really difficult um, to get a good cut on, potentially, if I was trying to cut it really small. I have it enlarged so you guys can see, but the offset tool allows you to make the lines thicker. You can adjust it here, or you can adjust it manually, but whatever um, you prefer, whatever you like the look of, once you have it set up, you can apply that, and then just remove your old font, and then you can just delete this one. But see how much thicker now my lines are on my H and my L's? I'm going to get a cleaner cut that way. So you can just select it all, right click, make it a compound path, and there you go. Okay, moving on down the list. Um, and if you're wondering, like, what the heck is this lady doing? Why is she going so fast? Why is she at the down of the bottom of the screen? You need to click over and you need to watch Newbies Part 1 on the new software. Um, enough said there. This is your pop-up panel here. And then over here in this little teeny tiny hidden arrow, you have all these other um, uh, options. Now, a lot of these are add-ons for like the Cameo 3, but um, I'll just run through them quickly. Um, I still use a Cameo 2. I get lots of questions on the Cameo 3, and I'm so sorry I don't have it yet. Um, I don't see myself purchasing it anytime soon because my Cameo 2 works great, and if it ain't broke, why fix it? Um, I would love uh, to try it, but um, right now that's not in the budget, so I'm rocking the Cameo 2. Um, but I apologize if you have Cameo 3 questions. I can't help you. Um, unless it's software related, then I probably can. But anyway, back to you. This is the um, emboss option. This is your nesting option. This, I do believe, is still a designer edition um, upgrade, which is so worth it. I'll show you why in a second. Um, this is your sketch panel, rhinestone panel, um, layers panel, and finally your warp panel. So I'm just going to hop over real quick on the nest feature. Um, so I'm going to show you, let's say, I'm just going to fill my page here real quick with all of these. And of course I'm on the wrong icon. I did that last time too. So let's say I want to fill my page with hello. Um, but now I want to nest those so that I can get the most out of my page. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to click nest. And there we go. Now, again, it's a good thing I have my cut border turned on because if I didn't, it would have these scooted all the way over. So now you can see if I needed to, I could duplicate more of these and I could fit more hellos on my one page. Awesome, awesome feature. Totally worth it. Thank you, Designer Edition. Okay, moving right along. Settings. This is pretty self-explanatory, but if you've ever wanted to know, like, for example, how to change the color of your screen, it's all right here. Here are your defaults, too. Um, you notice when I typed the word hello, it traced it in, or it gave me the line color red. You can change that if you want it to be pink or blue or orange, whatever you can change it, or whatever you want to do. You can have it always display your mat. You can change all of these things. Here's your display here. This is your theme color. If you want it to be different, you can change that. You can also change the size of your buttons, which is all of this stuff. So if these are really hard for you to see, boom, you can change it there. This is how you import images, um, where they go, um, tools. This is if you get your weekly silhouette updates. And then advanced, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is the advanced. Um, restore your factory settings, reset your library, so on and so forth. So I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to change anything there. Um, here, this little um, connection of three arrows, this is if you want to change your theme. Um, you can just keep clicking on it and it will change the colors. If you've wondered why my screen looks different than yours, that's why. Okay, jumping over here to this side of the screen now, since we've covered all of these in Newbie Part 1. Um, here's your arrow feature. This is your editing points feature. So for example, if you draw a shape, which by the way, 
The same trick applies on the other shapes it does with the circle. If you want to draw a perfect square, you're going to click on your shift button on your keyboard and draw. Let go with your mouse, let go with your shift, and you have a perfect square. Now, um, if if you want to use your mouse again, if I were to click, oh, geez, why do I just have squares? You need to go up and grab your arrow key, okay? Next button down is your editing points. One of two things can happen here. You can either double click on the shape and there you get your editing points, or if you don't have that, if you don't think to double click and you're like, oh, where are my editing points? You can click on the editing point um, icon. So whatever you find is easier. Here's your line icon. If you want, this will help you draw a straight line. You've already seen this. This is how you draw your shapes. This is how you actually physically draw a line. Um, this is where you go to type in text. Hi. Um, this is if you want to make a note um, for whatever reason, something that this wouldn't necessarily get cut out of vinyl or cardstock. You could just make a note to say um, whatever you want. Hi. <laughs> Uh, eraser, pretty self-explanatory, you want to erase, and then your knife tool. This would be like if you wanted to um, slice this box in half, then you can do that. Um, another nice thing about the knife tool is same thing with the shapes tool. If you hold the shift and draw your line, you get a perfectly straight line. So that's a nice option there for you. And you can go back to your um, to your arrow key. So that is um, your left hand column. And then up here, all this is pretty self explanatory. This is if you wanted to open a new blank sheet. Um, and you, or you can just click the add button. So you have options for you there. Here, this allows you to open up a file. This is to save. This is to send something to your printer if you're doing a print and cut. This is if you need to cut, paste, um, copy, but all those features are also right there on your right click. Pretty simple. This is your undo feature. Um, again, if you want to select all, if you want to select everything on your um, entire screen, that's what that feature does. If you want to select all, but then you want to deselect all, or you want to select by color. This is a new feature, I do believe. I don't remember this on the old software. This would be if you wanted to only select things that are black or select things that are red. That's a very cool thing, especially if you're doing lots of um, like heat transfer vinyl and you're cutting out specific colors. Um, I can show you how to do that when we get up to the send option. So, uh, okay. Um, you've seen me zoom in a million gazillion times. This here allows you to zoom in on one specific spot. Um, this allows you to zoom in using your mouse, so you can um, scroll in or out with that. This allows you for um, just to grab, and this here recenters. So there's that. And then you have your same thing up here. Um, file, open, new, save. This allows you to access your library if you don't want to go and access it over here. Editing, um, pretty self-explanatory. View, if you want to zoom in, you can make your page larger. If you want to show registration marks instead of going over here and doing it. Sorry, here on your page setup. Lots of options here. Um, and honestly, like, Modify is under panels, still up here if you forget that it's over here because things all moved and it's a little bit different. Um, but basically, all of these options are over here as well, and a lot of times they're here too. So, this is just an easy right click. So, there's that. Okay, then last little bit here this is your design, this is where you're at. This is if you want to open the Silhouette store and you can um, browse all of their awesome downloads. And of course it's running slow. There we go. Um, always check the free design because that's free and who doesn't love free? Um, and then you can add them to your cart um, from here. So here you go, like the mittens are free. You can go to your personal library here, and um, yes, the cloud, that's something new that's very cool too. 
You can do your recent downloads. You can store all of your stuff. Um, you can store them on the cloud. Um, if you ever have any questions, you guys can email me at littlelightsbybar at gmail.com or you can comment below. You can get me there too, or you can find me on Instagram as well. DM me there. Um, feel free to tag me in any of your creations that you make too. I love seeing um, what my fellow silhouette users are creating. So, all right, moving right along. This is the um, this is how you get your um, designs to cut out. So, you have lots of options here lots of options so um silhouette stepped up their game big time and they added like all of these new um options of cutting materials which is awesome you also can add new material types sorry i was waiting for my computer to catch up um i still have things that i have set in place like for instance um cutting glitter heat transfer vinyl I found the best settings is a, a blade of four a speed of four and a force of 18 that pass one time so I keep that saved but if you find something that like cuts really well for you you can easily add new material type here so there's that um, then you can change if you want to cut or cut the edge um, and thanks to silhouette now if you are using heat transfer vinyl and you um, select that from the list automatically they will ask you see their settings are different for glitter but that's okay um, they're gonna ask you do you want to mirror this or do you want to send it as is and if I was cutting this out of heat transfer material I would say oh yeah I need to mirror that thank you send mirror so that's a nice new feature um, and then you can do test cut here, and this is your Bluetooth option for your Cameo 3 users. Um, and you have your settings here, and also your um, Cameo settings as well here. So, pretty self-explanatory here. Um, you can go in and make adjustments by increasing, and then boom, it says edited. It will, it will then ask you, do you want to save these, or do you want to revert? Um, so that's a nice new feature as well so all in all i really do love the new software i think they did some really cool things to it um i think some of the stuff like burying um this transform i'm not a huge fan of that but i've learned it well enough you know after a week you can you can teach this old dog new tricks and it's fine but um all in all, I really like the new software. I think it's it's easy to use, and it's um, they up their game with a couple of things, like the font feature, um, having the characters here, the additional character maps here. That's pretty sweet. And um, I do like the new cut option, because I feel like all of this space is like so much nicer to be able to see what you're doing and choosing all these different modalities. So I love that. So there you go. Two parts of the new software. Um, hope this helps you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be coming at you guys um, here in a couple of um, days. Hopefully I can get it posted um, by next week. But I'm going to be asking you guys for what you want to see on this channel. Like, do you want me to start doing some projects? Um, do you want me to keep doing more tutorials like this on how to use the software and what you can do with the software so feel free to comment below or find me on instagram send me a dm at little lights by laura or email me whatever is easiest for you let me know what you want to see let me know what i can help you with i'm always so happy to answer any questions and you guys this will always be all about you um I see nothing better than helping people, and I love, love, love to do that, and I love to teach, so feel free to let me know, and you guys.